The defense headquarters says the troops of Operation Fireball have arrested some Boko Haram and Islamic State West Africa province terrorists and arrested the makers of their improvised explosive devices in the Northeast. The acting director, Defense Media Operations, Brigadier General Bernard Onyoku, in a statement on Sunday said the troops operating under Operation Lafia Adole have continued aggressive clearance operation to identified terrorist enclaves. He said the troops also inflicted injury on the fleeing terrorists, killing two and capturing one of the IED experts. He said the troops forced the terrorists to withdraw in disarray due to superior firepower. The commander of 81 Military Intelligence Brigade, Victoria Island, Lagos, Brigadier General Ahmed Taiwo, said on Saturday that the NSAS protests plunged Lagos State into anarchy. Taiwo said against the background of burning of police stations and looting of arms and ammunition, the killing of policemen, blockage of roads and extortion of money from innocent citizens by hoodlums, inviting the military was the best decision the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwulu, could have taken. Taiwo said this on Saturday in his testimony before the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry probing the alleged shooting of NSAS protesters by soldiers at the Lekki Tor Gate on the night of October 20, 2020. Taiwo, while showing the panel the footage of a scene where a mob killed someone and set the body ablaze, said the anarchy was reminiscent of the Liberian War. The occurrence in Lagos State, starting from the 18th of October, were nothing but violence and lawlessness. Throughout the NSAS protests, which started in early October, the Nigerian army was not involved in the protests or did not intervene in any shape or form. It was this state of affairs which occurred by 12 p.m. on the 20th that made the governor of Mr. Babajide Sonwulu to ask the army to intervene. And in my opinion, that was the correct thing to do. Analyzing that further, it shows the situation was so dire and they wanted everyone off the streets. After some observation, this timing was shifted to 2100 hours, that is 9 p.m. However, these timings were not communicated to the Nigerian army. Be that as it may, the Nigerian army deployed immediately.